that uh, the blow off. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. It's Deontay. Before we go any farther watching today's video, go down below and leave a like. I noticed in the last couple of videos, you guys aren't dropping that like button. A lot of discussion, though, going on in the comments, though. So that's the only way we can grow or even think about growing is if you guys show your support. So thank you to everyone who has been supporting and creating that discussion, especially on the podcast video. We dropped a lot of info, a lot of little nuggets and stuff, especially coming from Taylor. So far, tons of positive feedback from that though. So huge shout out to everyone that's been showing some love. And yeah, we're back with another video inside the shop. It's still like 90 out. Today's video, we're getting the car ready for tomorrow, which is also gonna be part of today's video. So stay tuned for it. But we're gonna be taking it out for the first time this year to a meet. Nobody has seen this car yet. Like Cisco, Taylor, my family, and the fab guy has seen this car. Every time I've taken the car out now, it's just me filming something and bringing it back here and parking it. What we've really been waiting for though, is this over here. A stage three spec clutch in the house. All right, so this is getting installed on Monday. As we speak right now, it is Friday. This is getting into the car on Monday. So once we're able to actually feel what the car can do, I will be taking the car out a lot more. The ARP head studs, these won't be going in for a little bit, but ARP head studs right here, P2R radiator hoses, the uh, nice strong silicone ones, 64.1 to 66.1, um, the hub centric ring. You guys have been bugging me. You guys have been bugging me about this. I know everybody has been expressing their concerns about this guy right here. I really don't like the look of it, and I feel like it's gonna restrict a some air. I really wanted to run the turbo stack with the filter, but... Whoa. Oh, I really wanted to run the turbo stack with a filter, but there's just no room here, so we're gonna have to settle for this. It doesn't look too bad. I really wanted black. You guys remember this? We just pulled the motor yesterday. Uh, and the transmission that failed. You guys see it leaking right here? You can see the crack right inside of there. It's a little dark, but transmission goes in for service. 3,500 to get rebuilt. Yeah, at least we don't gotta buy a new transmission. $16,000 Medola S4 transmission right here. The mechanic that we hired to come help me pull this thing out is also the one that's gonna be installing my clutch. So just wanted to mention that. <laughs> Yikes. This is my latest TL victim right here. What's your name? How old are you? <laughs> my cousin Dante. Dante, Deontay, we're related. Two months ago, I found an infinity for him and he got in a little fender bender, new driver, and then uh, insurance paid up. And we just picked this one up like three days ago. Lip kit on it, Continental. Good tread, inky wheels, new brake pads, 
drilled and slotted. TL Type S, 2002, right? Yeah. Already got the intake on it. You've got a high pressure power steering leak, and that's why it's here today. Other than the intake, it's all stock. Oh, new battery. Other than that, clean pickup. How many miles does it have? Uh, 110. 110. Clean title, 110,000 miles on it. That looks like a job for D. Blue Acura CL we sold to his little brother. So now we got the whole gang driving TL, CL, second gen, third gen, everything but a fourth gen. Clean black interior. Clutch in. Make sure you're in neutral. Uh, clutch in all the way. Just wiggle the what? wiggle the stick. Yeah, make sure you're in. Can you go all the way to the, to the right? Push harder. Yeah, there you go. You're in neutral. You gotta put your clutch in all the way. This? Yep. I ain't never drive with me. Anymore. I know. All the way down. All the way down. There you go. Uh, Turn the key. We gotta dip up out of here. I gotta give him a ride home real quick. out here bro I want to wrap the car this color so bad carbon fours baby seen a front end super like that. We got the RX-7 out here. This is crazy. I haven't been around nice cars in so long. Been cooped up in the shop. 
working on a $5,000 Acura TL. <laughs> You like that? Looks like a comic book? Yep. This is those Eliminate vibes right here. <laughs> My camera's overheating. They don't know it's my car. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I'm thinking about either getting a TL or. It's been about 30 minutes, guys. The camera overheated, so it's been sitting in the car. I don't know, dude, it's hot out here, bro. I don't know how the camera's overheating in my hand like that. Just talking to a lot of people about the setup. So many people have questions about the TL and what motor it is, and you just don't see these over here on this, uh, this side of the states. Warm in there. So hard too. This is that 2017 dream car. Everyone's dream car. Oh, we got an Integra Type S out here. Is you right here? Uh. We are out of here. We got our Dutch bros. Someone just walked up and said, no revving on the way out. I can't believe they assumed you were going to do that. I can't believe they assumed we were going to do that. That's crazy. You would never do that. I'm just an Acura TL. Like, I just a baby. I just a baby. Bro, it is. I just, where did I put my keys? Well, she made it back, guys. We got no coolant leaks of any sort. Turbo guard hanging in there nicely. This is why you guys were begging me to get a turbo guard, huh? We got a little. Is he dead? Yeah, you dead. Got a B in there. Yeah. Once the clutch is installed, we can take it to the dyno and see what kind of numbers she's making. So stay tuned, guys. Leave a like on today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.